okay we'll be uh, installing this uh, big boy right here it's a ULT ultra low temperature freezer it can go up to minus 86 so what the first thing you have to do you have to make sure that you position your fridge in a correct spot you have to have at least more than 30 at least the minimum of 30 centimeter on each side of the fridge for you for better ventilation and the next thing you have to do you have to make sure that the fridge is empty you have to make sure that there's nothing inside the freezer so what we will do we're gonna have to open all the doors and then all the packaging just have to make sure that you remove everything you'll see that you have a, your, your, your the freezer manual with the ice scraper and then there's also four set of keys that you need to use because you have to be you have to lock your your freezer at any given time for safety purposes because the temperature is very low you do not want someone to open by mistake they might regret it and the next thing you have to make sure you put everything in a secure place and the next thing you have to do check inside you'll see there's a solar tech voltage protector it goes up to 15 it's rated 15 amps and then make sure that you only use a minimum a voltage protector need to be at least of minimum rated 15 amps the next thing you do you just have to close properly all four doors and then the next thing you do as well you have to close the big door and then uh, the next thing you have to do you have to, to switch on the freezer so what you need to do you have to use your, your voltage regulator the 15 amps one what you have to do there's two options there's a, a, a manual and there's a delay the delay can be 15 seconds one minute two minutes we're gonna set the timer to three minutes for safety purposes because we, you're gonna have to regulate the the power as soon as the power show a green light and then it's safer to plug your freezer so what i will do and then you have to make sure that you do not use an extension cord you have to plug it direct onto the power socket so what i will do i'll plug it this onto uh, onto the power socket so okay i have plugged my voltage uh, protector and then now i'm just waiting for the timer delay it's just checking the quality of my voltage supply before it can show a green light and as soon as i have a green light i can be able to plug it's it's safe to plug your freezer right now it's green and then i can now take my cord the freezer cord and then i will plug the freezer cool and as soon as you you plug your freezer you have to go onto the right hand side of the freezer yes there's, there's two breaker switch one is for the, the power supply and the other one is for the batteries uh, power supply as well because there's a backup battery as soon as you plug the the freezer you have to check uh you have to turn out the circuit breaker this is for power you have to make sure it, it's initially it's on off you have to press it to make sure it's on on and then there's also a battery uh, power backup which need to be on on as well right now it's off and then i have to press to make sure it, it's on and then i can close and the next thing you have to do you have to go in front of the fridge there's a controller which you need to set your temperature so the freezer as you can see the freezer is on it's showing the internal temperature which is 18 degree and then the voltage is 232 and the ambient temperature is 19. you have to make sure that uh, the freeze the freezer is always in a room where the ambient temperature is between 18 and 32 degree ideally it's better to have it between 18 and 25 degree ambient temperature and then what i will do next i'm gonna have to set there's also some operation instruction you can also follow the operation procedure right here and then what i will do i have to set uh, the initially i will set the freezer to minus 60. i have to set it initially to minus 60 for a minimum of eight hours and then afterwards i will set it to my ideal uh, temperature if it's minus 70 or minus 80 and then i have to monitor it for for a minimum of 24 hours before i can put any product inside the freezer 
So what I will do first, I will set it uh, to minus 60. So what I do, I have to, there's a, this is a controller and then there's a three keys. There's a set key, there's an up arrow key and there's a down arrow key. So I'll state the, the password for the for the password the passcode for the controller is uh, six is the number six so i'm gonna use the up arrow keys i'll change this value to six and as soon as it's on six i have to press the set key at least for five seconds okay oh that was quick i have to redo again one two three four five six and then i press for five seconds until the lock gonna go off and then it's off and as soon as the lock is off i can be able to press set again and then the first green light it's set point which i have to change to with whatever value i see i have to change it to minus 60. as soon as it's on minus 60 you press set and then uh, it sets the high temp alarm at minus 55 and then I'll press set again a low temp alarm to minus 85 and then I'll try and reduce the, the high temp uh, the low temp alarm since my set point is minus 60 I'll try and make it minus 65 okay I'll press here and then I'll try to reduce it to minus 65 so the low temp I will be receiving an alarm if the temperature reach minus 65 and also if the temperature reach uh, minus 55 so that's my my limit for now and the next thing i have to do i just have to let the free the freezer run for at least eight hours it's gonna reach uh minus 60 and then as soon as it's reached minus 60 now i'm gonna have to to redo the same process again and change it to whichever temperature i want to i assume like uh, we already uh, the freezer have run already for eight hours i'll change now my settings to minus 70 so what i will do is the same process as you can see uh right here it's showing that so uh, the freezer is locked and then uh, you can be able to see if it's running if the the regulator a backup system you can see all this uh, the status of the fridge right now i'm gonna have to unlock it so that i can change my set point to minus 70. so what i will do is the same process i use the up arrow key I go to six and then I press and hold the set key for five seconds until the locked uh, light goes off and then I can be able to press set again and then I will change that value now to minus 70 and then I press set and then now I will change now my high, temp my, my high temperature alarm since I'm on minus uh, 70 now I'll make it minus 60 I'll use the down arrow key to go lower. You can change the, the limit, the alarm limit to, to any temperature that you want to. So I'll put minus 65. And then uh, I'll go to my low temperature. I'll change this value to minus, it's already on minus 75. Automatically, it goes five degrees lower than the set point. And I'm happy with the settings. So I just have to let the unit run for at least 24 hours. If I monitor, if the, the, the freezer is reaching minus 70, after 24 hours, it's safe. You can be able to put your vaccine inside the freezer. Thank you.